guys, it's Kelly, and it's Wednesday, so that means it's three story word challenge day. This week's words are from your comments, of course. Uh, they're from Rachel Sanford. Hi, Rachel. Thank you for these words. The words are beard, crater, and socks. <laughs> and I'm supposed to come up with a story with beard, crater, and socks. And my neck is really red. Sorry. All right. This story is called Forever 21. And do you ever have one of those days where you'd consider doing it all over again, but you don't have any hope that it would be any better? That's my day. I spend my day for as long as I can remember. My name is Sarah Camp, and here's the story of my life. I'm 21 years old, but I've lived 47 years, as best I can tell anyway. On my 21st birthday, well, it wasn't a good day. Wake up, leaky water bed, angry downstairs apartment, angry landlord, angry me because no one likes walking, waking up to that, and my socks got wet. Drive to my parents to get money to fix it. No one home. No one's ever home. Go eat breakfast at the diner. See Mike, Billy Anderson, Molly Cartwright, and Clara. Leave. Get in my car. Wake up in my bed. Leaky water bed angry downstairs apartment. You get the idea. Every day is the same. The calendar, the songs, the people, always the same routine. They change though, the people. One day, and only one day, Billy Anderson had a beard. And on two occasions, I could have sworn I heard my mother's voice in the house. I looked everywhere, but I couldn't find her. I can't get it out of this loop. But what I can, but from what I can tell, no one else can either. I don't know what happened. Did the space-time continuum tear? Did the did a meteor crash and leave a crater so big that it did something? I ignore the most logical answer, the one I think of every time I get back in my car after breakfast. I have tried not going to my car before. I always end up there anyway. I'm forever 21, stuck in this endless loop with only Mike, Billy, Molly, and Clara, and the voice of my angry neighbor keeping me company. If I could do something to change it, I would. If I could make different choices so I could leave this loop, I'd do it in a heartbeat. I wake up. My bed is leaking. My phone rings. I shut my eyes. Not today. Not today. I'm too tired for today. No more fighting. No more clues. No more trying to figure out. I'm done. There is a faint ringing in my ears. A beep or a ringing. I can't be sure. I'm done. I shut my eyes. The loop ends. <sighs> Thank you for your words, Rachel. That that was kind of sadder than I meant for it to be. You can figure out how you can. How do you think the story ended? Uh, you can leave a comment if you want to. Uh, discuss it. Um, if you have quite, if you have questions, if you have words to try to stump me with, leave them in the comments. I randomly pick one or one group every week and write a story. And what I want to do now is everybody that leaves a comment. This is it's handwritten. This this is what I read because you know what I want to do is anybody that leaves a comment, you're going to get into a um, uh, drawing. And one person every week will win, I'll sign it, because we want it signed, a um, copy of what I read. And I'll mail it to you, and with a bookmark and stuff like that. So, if you would like this, the story that I just read, leave a comment. And it even has all the editing things on it, too. <laughs> so, leave a comment, um, and tell me that you want it, that you would like to be entered. Uh, leave some more words for me to stump me with for next week. And thank you, Rachel, for the words this week. Something big is going on. We hit 500 subscribers on the channel. Oh, hallelujah. Um, there's going to be a big, 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 big giveaway announcement coming on Sunday. So be sure to watch. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.